Good morning. We're hanging out here in Bird Rock at Paradisia, where they just got honored by the Michelin Guide. We're going to tell you all about that. And I have two of my favorite spokespeople here, Alexander and Vincent. And you wanted to say something. What did you want to say, Alexander? Good morning, people of San Diego. Oh, my gosh. Good morning, Casey. Say good morning, Vincent. Good morning. San Diego. <laughs> good morning. Far so quickly. Mm, I think we can find out. I think we have to go to Allie Wagner. <laughs> Assuming if the prompter were... <laughs> Paradisia, <laughs> a one-year-old restaurant in La Jolla's Bird Rock community, uh, is being recognized by the Michelin Guide. Hey, Allie. Hey, Allie. Yes, so this is really neat. What a fun place here, Paradisia. And I have Zoe who is here, one of the owners, and this is so much fun. You guys must be thrilled. We're so thrilled. It's, you know, a testament to all of our hard work, the front of the house, the kitchen with the chef all of the staff it's amazing yeah and tell me a little bit because this was a dream of yours you said you've been around food your whole life and yes. so first opening this place about a year ago i yes. mean that's how this started this is how it started but it's taken quite frankly like four years so we got the space and then the construction and then covid can you imagine like all of the hang-ups that we yeah. had so it's really been like quite a journey, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. And so tell me, because now you guys are in the Michelin Guide, and yeah. tell me a little bit about what that means. So that, I mean, for, uh, as, uh, as long as I can remember, I've known about the Michelin Guide, so it's just a barometer and a reassurance that we're doing the right thing and that we're on the right path. So it's very reassuring to my family, the staff, everyone's so excited. Yeah, and so for you guys, once you're on the guide, then kind of the next step is whether you get to be uh, Bib Gorman recognized or whether you get to move ahead and be get a Michelin a star. star right? Exactly, so that just blows my mind. I mean, I think that just one step at a time, Eric and I are, you know, we wake up every day and same, same with the staff. We wake up every day and we're like, what can we do to make, what can we do to be better? What are we doing right? What are we doing wrong every single day? That's so, so. fun. It's got to be such a dream come true. And then tell me a little bit about the food. What kind of food do you guys serve here? So it's California, modern California, contemporary, and we're just getting back to the roots of cooking and using the local purveyors and local farmers. And so I think I, I've always been told through my whole life, you got to use the best ingredients. And so use the best ingredients and you'll have good food. So we, have, we found, you know, Jeff Armstrong, who his food is fantastic. And I can't wait for you to come oh. and try it. This is so <laughs> exciting. Congratulations, because this you. was just announced last week, and I'm sure you were yes. jumping up and down when you heard Paradisia. Literally, my husband jumped up and down. I think he scared the kids. <laughs> Yes, so they have uh, three small kids who um, are hanging out as well. So family owned and obviously some really great dishes. Can't wait to see some of those. Your favorite dish on the menu. I know that's like picking your favorite child. You know what? I've been eating the burger for the last probably month trying to fine tune it. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So it's epic. And when can people come and try the food? Uh, we're open Wednesday through Sunday, 4 to 10. Okay. Yeah. Well, how exciting. I absolutely love this. Such a wonderful family. Very cool. We had the kids in here uh, a little bit earlier. So it is a family affair, right, you guys? And just uh, what a great honor for this cute little spot in Bird Rock. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this mural behind me. Back over to you guys. Thank you. Yeah, it looks beautiful. All right. All safe. Family yeah. friendly. Hi, good morning. Yeah, so they have been added to the Michelin Guide for 2024, meaning they are a new and up-and-coming restaurant here and the only one that got this award this year here in San Diego. And I have Chef Jeff Armstrong who is here this morning. Good morning, Chef. Hi, good morning. This is really cool. Talk a little bit, first of all, about being named to the list. Well, I mean, it's one of the uh, greatest recognitions you can get in the restaurant world. I mean, being recognized for the list just sets you up for a, a lot of things that come in the future, so we're really excited about it. Yeah, I mean, once you get on the guide, a lot of times that means that they're going to keep an eye on you and perhaps you might be able to get on some of the other awards, right? Yeah, well, I mean, our, our main goal would be to get a Michelin star. That would be something amazing and, I mean, great for the community and for Bird Rock and just La Jolla in general. So, I mean, and 
to get on the list with uh, San Diego restaurants would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, the food scene here has really elevated over the past few years since Michelin Guide started recognizing restaurants in San Diego. Yeah, I've seen, I mean, so much growth in the food scene and all these big sh name chefs coming in town and all this great food around. And I think San Diego's really getting a good reputation for the ethnic, ethnic food and just everything around. I mean, there's Convoy, you know, downtown, everywhere there's great food. Yeah, including right here in Bird Rock. And so tell me a little bit about your background and some of your food. You put out a few items here for us this morning. Yeah, this is just kind of... Um, some quick things, but one of our uh, kind of desserts that they, um, it's been around since the beginning, it's a milk and honey dessert with Strauss uh, dairy, organic soft serve ice cream, and like a honey brittle, some shortbread, and an avocado honey. Our um, harissa marinated shrimp with a little coconut and um, lime sauce. And then just the crudo, we're getting this amazing dry aged fish out of uh, Los Angeles now. So this is an amberjack that we're doing with kind of like some charred avocados, citrus, a little pickled fennel, and like a burnt citrus oil. Oh, tell yeah. me a little bit about your influences when you're trying to create some of these dishes. What helps you and inspires you? Well, we're trying to be hyper-seasonal and really kind of dealing with what's in season at the time. And then we're really focusing on sourcing great ingredients. I think that's really what starts great food and you're kind of getting outside the box and spending a fair bit of time on sourcing and working with the markets and really growing great reputation and relationships with our purveyors. What is one of your favorite dishes on the menu right now? You know, we're really excited about this crudo, and I think in kind of our seafood program coming in, um, just with dealing with this dry aged fish company out of Los Angeles, which is kind of new to the fish world, and I think it's really concentrating flavors in fish and showing a different way. And also um, our meat kind of that we're starting to bring. We're starting to deal with a new purveyor that I don't think a lot of people have seen within San Diego. So we're really excited about that partnership. Oh, that is so fun. Now, I said that I didn't need silverware, and now that ice cream's melting. So I, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to work on. I'll, I'll, I'll get. I'll figure out how I can get a spoon so I can share. Look at how good that looks, you guys. That is incredible. Oh, see, asking you shall receive. All right. Well, I have to take a taste for everybody, right? That is absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh, you guys. You'll have to trust me. All right. <laughs> so good. good. You notice you eat a lot this time of the year. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of eating going on. All right. <laughs>